Good morning, fifth grade, and happy Thursday. I hope that you enjoyed yesterday's uh, game-like activity. I'm going to try and include a little bit more of those so that I can see your awesome progress and so that you guys can have a little bit of fun while we're learning about all of our different kinds of grammar. So I'm trying out uh, some different parts of the school since it's pretty much just me in the schoolhouse right now. So I wonder if you can guess where I am and where we're gonna learn about articles and demonstrative adjectives. So go ahead and get out those blue books. We're looking at page 136 today. And this is lesson 30, articles and demonstrative adjectives. Now, demonstrative, that's a tricky word. It might not look exactly like how it sounds when I say it. So go ahead and practice it a couple of times demonstrative 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 adjectives so the special adjectives a an and the are called articles a and an refer to any person place or thing a book a desk an apple you don't necessarily know which book or desk or apple I'm talking about, but you know I'm talking about a specific one out there somewhere that I'm thinking of. The refers to a specific person, place, or thing. If I say the desk, you know that I'm, I'm thinking of a particular desk. Maybe it's your desk in room 101. Maybe it's your desk in the mystery classroom I'm in right now. That's the desk that I'm talking about. So for example, we've got a couple here in blue. Let's take a walk downtown. Just any kind of walk. We're being a little bit um, more generic with this one versus the local history interests me. You know that I'm talking about something specific, the history of a specific place. Use A before a singular noun that begins with a consonant sound. Thumbs up if you kind of knew that already, even if you didn't put it in these words. Use an before a singular noun that begins with a vowel sound. Again, nice job. Use the to refer to singular or plural nouns. We've got the same three letters for whatever we need. The town, the monuments, the books, the desks, the bees. This, that, these, and those are demonstrative adjectives. Practice that word again with me. Demonstrative. A demonstrative adjective tells which one and always comes before a noun. You can never have it by itself. Use this, singular, and these, plural, to refer to things or people nearby. This school was built in 2011, according to my shirt. 2011. 1912, according to the book. This school was built in 1912. The one I'm in right now, it's nearby. It's in our hearts. It's in our community. These houses were built before 1850. Also kind of true. These houses, the ones on campus nearby. Use that singular and those plural to refer to people or things farther away. What was the name of that old railroad? Now that one is going to be further away. It's not right immediate in where I'm talking about. Those railroad tracks are no longer used. They aren't the ones right here, these ones. They're further away, those. Use that and those to refer to people or things farther away. I already said that. If we were in class, you guys would laugh a little bit at that because I just got really into explaining that and those, and then I read the same thing twice. Do not use here or there after demonstrative adjectives. This is another example of when how we speak and how we write are going to maybe be different. You might say, this here desk, can you pass me that there book? That's not how we're going to write in a sort of professional academic setting. That's not what um, the hiring managers are going to be looking for. That's not what admissions officers are going to be looking for. It might be how you speak, which is totally fine, but it's not going to be how we write for this kind of activity. So we're going to today complete practice A and practice B. You guys are going to do an amazing job at this. This feels like it's definitely going to be a review for you. Let's go through practice A. Each sentence below may contain an article, a demonstrative adjective, or both. Remember, we've got lists of articles, A, an, and the, and demonstrative adjectives, this, that, these, and those, 
on page 136. So if you get stuck, you're like, I don't remember what of these is what, just take a look on those sections on page 136 and it'll make it all super clear for you. Underline each article, a and the, once, and each demonstrative adjective, this, that, these, those, twice. So look through each of those sentences, find a, an, and the, underline it once, find this, that, these, and those, underline it twice. That one's going to be super easy. Just reread through those directions if you get stuck. Look back at your examples and explanations on page 136. And you've got this, no problem at all. For practice B, write the word in parentheses that correctly completes each sentence. So what you're going to do is you're going to look in the parentheses. For number one, we see blank old postcards show our town long ago. We need to choose between this and these. This. Hmm. Well, I know that this and these both refer to things nearby, but one is singular and one is plural. Remember, plural is indicated with that S at the end most of the time, so we've got old postcards, which means it's plural, which means we use the plural form of this and these. You guys get to decide which one that is, but I'm telling you that it's the plural one, so look back at page 136 and use that as your guide. Some of them are going to be singular plural. You have to decide that. Some of them you have to use context to see is it near or far or is it specific or general. So again, you're going to use the context of the sentence. Trust your instincts to listen to what the sentence sounds like and choose what sounds right. I trust you guys. I know you're going to do an amazing job. I hope that you go nice and quick through these so that you can get some time outside and spend some wonderful quality time with your family. I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you for my next mystery location.